one pound. Here is the flame. And ladies and gentlemen, his challenger also making his rate way to ringside. He weighs in at 227 pounds from parts unknown. He's bad to the bone. Here is the bullet. One fall, 60-minute time limit, standby matches in the event this match does not go the full length of time. And by the way, if we uh, have to cut away to commercial break, uh, our crew will continue to videotape. So consequently, uh, we will uh, bring you a pinfall or a submission should it occur during a commercial break. And it is a flame caught by the bullet. And drop, and the flame fires back. The flame catches it again. Remember now, it's mass versus mass, and it's the bullet exploding with a right hand under the chin of the flame. The flame powers away from it before the three count. Roy George, the referee, sending the bullet back to a neutral corner. The flame playing for time. This early in the match, the time is not an ally. Full arm drag and twist now by the flame. He has the bullet by about, uh, I would say, close to 60, 65 pounds. And a test of strength between these two men right now. And it is uh, the bullet. Getting the advantage here on the flame. Full arm drag and twist now by the bullet. Remember the masks are at stake. Ah! The big right hand and a hard one uh, into the throat. The flame going over that top rope. And uh, trying to, if he can, get the bullet disqualified, but uh, the referee was uh, alert and right on the scene on that one. Flame complaining to the referee, saying he threw him over the top rope, which is not the case at all. You and I saw it very clearly. It was a chop into the throat. So the flame realizing that that is not really still trying to get the, the bullet disqualified. Nice. The bullet still bearing the scars of the times he's been burned by the flame. flame going into his trunk. The bullet is ready in the flame. Now, could have been doing something to his mask. Trying to already use time as an ally. The referee checking that mask and apparently 
if the flame had put it in the end there, he removed it. It could be uh, in Thompson at right hand of his. Up into the ring rope. Ooh, let fly low to the rib cage. Five minutes gone into the match. Five and, minutes uh, gone. So the, the bullet is down and the flame got in a shot there that has taken its toll on the bullet. And it is the flame now. Powerful boots to the side of the rib cage going after where there's the possible earlier injury. Now the flat of the foot right into the pectoralis major. The bullet coming up very slowly and driven back to the canvas by the flame. So the flame very much in control of the situation. Dominating the match with the bullet. Gets us a bullet from behind once again. And again, the bullet caught right between the shoulder blades. The bullet now. Beginning to stalk the flame. And the flame backing away, but the bullet explodes. The bullet catches him again, a hard right hand. A chop into the throat. And the flame driven back into the ropes now. Quick rip across the eyes. The bullet caught again, a forearm between the shoulder blades and has his head jammed into the turnbuckle. He's up on the rope. He got a shoulder off. He got a shoulder off. He was, the referee was counting both men, but the bullet got a shoulder off. And so that means the plane is a loser. And the bullet is the victor. The bullet is the victor in this match. stayed down, the bullet got his shoulder off. And the bullet wants that mask off the plane. There you see it. The bullet is the victor. And the plane protesting that he, he was not he was not down for the count. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee's decision to fall and the match go to the bullet. The plane still protesting the situation. That man is not going to unmask. This is man right here is a loser. He's been a loser all of his life. And he's the man that's going to take his mask off. Wait a minute. There's a Tennessee stud. The Tennessee stud has suddenly appeared on the scene. And he's after uh, the bullet. The bullet catches him. The bullet after the stud. Now we've got a pier sixer going now. A real pier sixer. And uh, it's the bullet pounding away at the Tennessee stud. And so the stud is down. Wait a minute. Mr. Olympia just came into the ring. And a headbutt to the back of the head of the bullet. And they're after the mask. They're after the mask of the bullet. Mr. Olympia ripping the mask off the bullet. He's after the, uh, the lacings now. And wait a minute. Who's that charging through? Looks like it may have been Brad Armstrong. Meanwhile, they're still after the mask. They're still after the mask of the bullet. And now, the Red Patrol is heading in there. The Red Patrol and the Tennessee Stud Cup came off at the pass. The plane now. Catching Brad Armstrong, a hard right hand. Meanwhile, they're still after the mask of the play. Now the Scott and Steve Armstrong, Brad Armstrong, all in there. They got the mask off the bullet, but they got him covered with a towel or a something. They've got the mask. They've got the mask, no question about it. Let's see if we can find out who the bullet is. Brad Armstrong and uh, the Rat Patrol shot the seed in there with the bullet. And Mr. Olympia certainly proved what kind of a man he was. Well, they've got uh, the plane is uh, out of the ring. 
Tennessee Stud has uh, left the ring area. Now there they are, leaving the ring area. Meanwhile, keep that camera on uh, the bullet. Maybe we'll get a look at that face. They're keeping him covered, however, and uh, accidentally or on purpose, they're uh, certainly blocking the way. And uh, wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Approaching me right now. You're going to go and hit the replay, I hope. Yeah. Are we ready? Let's go. Give me the money. 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 I want to see that replay. Yeah. I just hate. I'm going to Bob Gaggle. And I want to miss the president of the NWA. Gaggle, to see that face. Roll it. Well, I'll tell you what. I never could see who it was. You what? I never could see who it was. And Roll it. No, sir. I could. Well, I don't know if you know it. I'll show you it. If they play it back, I'll show you exactly what I saw. You know it was him. You know it was him. You know it was him. In your own heart, Gordon Sullivan, you know it. You know it was him. Down deep in your heart, you know it was him. That's deep enough, I can assure you of that. You just don't want me to get your money. That's my money, Gordon. That's my Well, sir, I never could see it. I never could make it. I'll go for you. I'm going to put you from 10,000 to 20,000. I'll give 20,000 to see it. 20,000 dollars. I'm going to interest the people on Gun Club Road in West Palm Beach. Well, I'll tell you what. They have raised the ante, the bounty now, on the bullet. You heard the man say it, Ron Fuller, the Tennessee Star suddenly appearing, and he's raised that bounty to 20,000 dollars. But I can honestly say, I never saw the face of the bullet. <laughs>